You don't have time, I don't have time. 655 calorie breakfast burrito, 38 grams of protein. So let's get into it. Ingredients needed, we're gonna need 21 eggs, 14 strips of breakfast sausage, seven tortillas, and at least 210 grams of cheese. Additional requirements, a large pan, one large mixing bowl, a sturdy spatula, and a food scale. On top of things, let's make sure that we have our phones close by in our pocket or on the countertop next to us. That way we can calculate and write down serving sizes pretty quickly. Food alone, this comes out to be 11.70, which if you divide that by seven, comes out to be $1.67 per meal, which is a pretty cheap meal. The very first thing we're gonna do is weigh our large mixing bowl. Ours right here is 342 grams. This is gonna come in handy later whenever we're trying to calculate servings. Just make sure you write down that number in grams, somewhere safe, somewhere that we can call on it easily later. Now moving on to the food side of things, we're gonna take that pan and in goes 21 eggs. We're gonna scramble those eggs up and we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. I put it on high heat and mix, mix, mix. Once those eggs are no longer runny, we're gonna set them aside in our mixing bowl. After we put the eggs in the mixing bowl, we're gonna have a hot empty pan. So what we're gonna do with that, we're gonna Use it. We're gonna put it back on the stove. We're gonna add our 14 strips of breakfast sausage. I'm using Vermont maple. Hey, remember what we said about no talking? Sorry. Anyways, once they're in the pan, we're gonna let them sear for a second. After about, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, I go ahead, I take my spatula, make sure it's a hard spatula, and we're gonna just start chopping them up into small little pieces. After I chop them up, I'm just gonna kind of flick the pan a couple times, make sure that we get kind of a nice, even cook on all sides. After the meat is no longer pink, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pick it up, put it in our mixing bowl. Next, we are going to weigh out seven servings of cheese. Our cheese today is 28 grams per serving. I always just round up two grams, and I just call it an even 30. 30 grams for seven days gives us 210 grams. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our mixing bowl on top of that scale, and we're gonna add 210 grams of cheese. It's okay to always put a little extra cheese because some of it is gonna come out whenever we start mixing. Which brings us to our next step, mixing. We're going to mix all those ingredients as much as we possibly can. The goal is that we're trying to get an even serving within each one of our burritos. This brings us to our final section of the video, which is how to disperse and evenly roll out our burritos. In order to make sure we get an even amount of servings, we're going to weigh everything out. Quick call back to our very first step. We got the weight of just the bowl itself. What we're now going to do is we're going to weigh the bowl with the food inside of it, and we're going to subtract just the bowl. Make sense? So then we're gonna get the weight of just the food. What we will then do is take that weight and just divide it into how many servings we want, which today being seven. With that in mind, this is typically how my numbers look. On average, the number we get for everything is 1889. What we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract that bowl, 342, and then we're gonna divide that by seven, which gives us about 221 per serving. So here's what I do. I will take my phone and put it directly next to the scale. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up all seven tortillas on the countertop. What I'm then gonna do is I'm going to put minus 221 into my phone, and I'm just gonna hit equal. Every time I make a serving equally, I'm gonna hit the equal sign, and I'm gonna find out what my next number is. So for instance, on my very first serving, I'm gonna start with 1889, which is the bowl, the weight of the bowl entirely. I'm gonna subtract 221, which gives us about 1668. Then once I have all the food out, and now that bowl with the food in it weighs 1668, I'm gonna hit the equal sign on my phone, I'm gonna do it again. Now we've got 1447 in our bowl. Bang. And then I just keep repeating until we're all done. Afterwards, super simple. We're gonna roll the burritos. And then I'll just take plastic wrap, tin foil, whatever I have, and just roll that up. So while Chef Noah does that, I'm gonna reel you guys back in here for a second. Talk about the importance of this meal. This meal has 655 calories in it, 35 grams of protein, costs 1170 to make in total, and I made it in 25 to 30 minutes. The best part about it is it can go both ways on the eating spectrum, whether we're looking for that bulk or we're looking for that cut. If we're looking for that cut, 655 calories rounded up to 700, 700 calories per meal at three meals a day is 2100 calories calories, which on average is a big enough deficit for a lot of people. On the opposite side of things, on the bulk, if you pair that 655 with a glass of milk and a banana, that gets us close to about 950 to 1,000 calories. So for everybody that says, ah, I can't meal prep, it's too expensive. Oh, I don't have the time. It's not gonna be enough for me. I think it's time to eat up. Make sure that we get kind of a nice, easy, uh, 